Hi everyone, my name is Helen Lee. I'm the Laser Optics Engineering Manager at ESI. I received my PhD in Optics from the University of Michigan and have been working with ESI for 10 years. Today I would like to share with you some optical design considerations for a laser-based material processing system. We usually need to take into account of the requirements from two sides, the process requirement and the system requirement. Typically, the process requirement is defined by the fundamental physics, how the laser photons interact with the material. And usually, the critical parameter includes wavelength, pulse width, fluence, and so on. System requirement is mostly defined by customer needs. Customer cares most about the throughput, the cost, quality, accuracy, and of course, reliability. So now we need to take these input and translate into the choice of laser and the design of the beam delivery system. Now let's use this diagram below as a quick illustration. So we're only going to focus on laser and optics related areas. First step is to choose the right laser. The laser should have the right wavelengths and pulse width to meet the process requirement. And the fluence is defined by the power and the spot size at work surface. So we can need to choose the laser power or pulse energy and the pulse repetition rate to meet the fluence and process speed requirement at work. That's based on the beam delivery system. Now we can see what can we include into this box. The very basic laser processing system includes a laser and a focusing lens. The focus spot size at work surface determine the fluence. The consideration of the choice of lens depends on a few factors. We need to consider spot size required by the process, the depth of focus, feature size, and the working distance, and so on. Oftentimes, we can choose between an objective lens or a scan lens. Objective lens tends to have a much shorter working distance and a very tight focus. While the scan lens, on the other hand, has a longer working distance and it can cover a much bigger process area. Scan lens also can separate into telecentric scan lens and non-telecentric scan lens. Telecentric lens has the property of the focus beam is always perpendicular to the work surface or the uh, focal plane. This has an advantage of processing thicker materials such as the cutting or drilling process. However, the telecentric lens design is much more complicated and more lens element inside. So naturally, it will cost more in price. So which lens is the best choice for the system is a balance between performance and cost.